the early gauges in these British cars were what we refer to as moving iron gauges. And this is an illustration of what would have been inside a typical gauge. Electricity would enter from here into the gauge. It would go through this coil of wire, travel across to an identical coil of wire here, through the coil of wire and to ground. Now, whenever you run electricity through a coil of wire, you make a magnet. So I have two identical magnets. It's the same amount of electricity flowing through both. They have the same windings. They're identical. Now what the factory would do is they would add a secondary line with a resistor in it on one side. So what's going to happen here is electricity is going to go up. Most of it's going to go through the coil and make a magnet, but some of it's going to go through here and then over. Because this doesn't get as much electricity now as this one does, this one becomes the stronger of the two magnets. In that case, what's going to happen is my gauge is going to read like this. The bottom of the gauge is going to have a bit of iron which is drawn to the magnet. So electricity goes in, some goes through, but not all of it, but it all goes through here, and the gauge sweeps this way. Now, we have in our system also a sending unit. We talked about that just a moment ago. When the sending unit offers a lot of resistance, okay, she's all the way up to one extreme, then what's going to happen is the electricity is going to come through here and through here, and it's going to say, I don't want to go to the sending unit because there's a lot of resistance. So we'll keep going through this magnet, this magnet will remain stronger. As the level of fuel or the temperature in the car, anything else happens, and she moves, resistance is going to change. As the resistance changes, we have less resistance, more electricity is now going to want to go down here. If it goes down here, it doesn't go through here, and what happens is this magnet becomes weaker, and the gauge begins to do this. If we have less resistance, the gauge will do this. Less resistance, the gauge will go over. And finally, when there's no resistance at all, in other words, the electricity is free to just travel through here or here and follow this line straight to ground, nothing will go to this magnet, and this one will become the strong one and will sweep all the way to this side. This is how these systems worked. Now, this system had a strength and a weakness. The weakness is this. If you're driving down the road, and you hit a bump and this moves up and down or you go around a turn and the fuel sweeps to one side of the tank, you hit your brakes, anything like that, the changes in the resistance are going to be instantaneous. These magnets will change instantaneously and what will happen is people will complain because they'd hit a bump and the gas gauge would do this. And if you were around back then you know exactly what I'm talking about. That was the weakness. The strong point of this system is this. When you turn your key on, for example, first thing in the morning, you've got about 12 and a half volts in the system. Okay, the voltage, 12 and a half volts, would push power through here, through here, through here, and these magnets would do exactly what I've told you that they're going to do. If I raise the voltage of the system to 13 or 14 or 15 because I've started the car and the charging system is working, as the voltage goes up, it will increase how much power can go through here, but it also increases this one. So in other words, this will continue to work the same way, whether I've got 12 and a half volts or 13 volts or 14 volts or 15 volts, and that's all perfectly fine. Okay, so that's the strong point. It will not be bothered by the change in voltage, but the weakness is she flexed all over the place. What the industry needed was a way of setting up a gauge that would not be impacted by changes in voltage, as this one is, and also would not be impacted by changes in changes in the level of the float or anything else like that, so she'd bounce around. That was the weakness. In our next video, we'll talk about how they conquered that.